What's going on, YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And the folks at Azul are awesome. I actually use my mini PC for things such as flashing an Android device or, you know, maybe downloading a torrent or something, something I want running 24-7 and I don't want my main computer doing it or, you know, for whatever reason. This is very exciting because they've released a new, better model of the Byte that, they, that I've been using for quite a while now. Actually, last night, my mother-in-law came over to visit and I gave it to her. She did not have a computer and now she has a computer. I went ahead and flashed it with uh, Azul's restored little thing you put on a flash drive, plug it in and I applied all the updates and set it all up nice and neat for her and now she's got a computer she can use. So this is the upgrade to the Byte. This is the newest and best model. Ooh, they even sent me their remote, and this is quite exciting because you can have this sucker on your couch, and it's got a keyboard on it. So, we'll let's uh, well actually it's been open, so let's go ahead and show that real quick. See, it's got a little keyboard back here, so you can go ahead and type. This reminds me so much of the Xbox 360 chat pad. I absolutely loved that thing back in the day. It was so much you know fun to use and type on, and this is kind of like that. So. You got your windows, pretty much all your buttons. You turn your volume up and down. You got your little mouse thing there, so you can use this as a mouse. It's just, there's a lot of different features to it. I will play with it, and if I feel that a separate video needs to be made on this thing, I will definitely make it. They have been asking me to review this thing, so I'm going to go ahead and check it out. Got a little button on the side here. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Again, I'll have to check this out. I love the fact that you can just have a, you know, turn something up and down. I use my computer for, like, Cody and stuff a lot. Absolutely a lot. And so you can download Cody for Windows and then on your couch you're just, you know, typing in something and then you're clicking something and downloading subtitles and it's really, really cool. I like that. And here we have the Byte 3. So this is their latest and greatest. Let's go ahead and crack the seal here. Alright. So a bunch of information like quick start guide. Uh, how to get the most out of it with VPN discounts. Uh, they want you to leave a review. So if you're happy with the product, please make sure you go ahead and tell them that. If you're not happy with it, please make sure you go ahead and tell them that. It's definitely giving feedback. Ooh, it looks a little nicer than the other one. It looks a lot nicer. So we got Pro Windows. I didn't even know that. That's pretty awesome. So this top can get quite warm. Basically, just don't let a little kid... You know, like a little baby come over here. And if you've been using this sucker for a while and you've been doing a lot of things using that CPU, uh, it will be quite hot because this does not have a fan. We have our little Wi-Fi antenna here. Then we've got our, ooh, a Type-C port. I remember that, but I forgot. That's awesome. I really, really like that. I can go ahead and hook up a Type-C phone or flash drive or something and have a Type-C to Type-C connection. That is awesome. I, I, whoa, I would never use the other one ever again. So, <laughs> <laughs> this is the power port, VJ, HDMI, Ethernet, two USB 3.0, Kensington lock, and a headphone jack. And on the front, absolutely nothing but that little IR receiver for the remote control. And then on the side here, we've got an SD card slot, another USB 3.0, so three total. And then we have a USB 2.0, which is kind of cool because some things don't quite work very well with USB 3.0 drivers. So that's awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at what else is in the box here. I want to go ahead and give a moment to shout out Lon Seidman. He at uh, lon.tv. You can go to his YouTube channel or his website. And uh, he does really good reviews showing the performance of things. I'm more of like an unboxing. This is really cool. Let me show you this real quick. He's more of like frames per second. Test out a couple games. So definitely go check out Lon Seidman if you're into little computers and seeing stuff. So I will have a link to this channel in the description below uh, and if you don't get that other remote which is I want to go ahead and stress that this is something you have to purchase separately uh, it will come with this remote right here so that's pretty awesome you get something to start out with and then it has a little battery here let's go ahead and pull that out and it looks like we'll got like a you know fast forward go left go right this will be something I use as a media player that's pretty awesome and in here we've got some little bitty screws and probably to mount a hard drive or something. I think it has supports that. And then we have our power brick. And interesting. Oh, okay, right here. Let's go ahead and take that off and snap this on. 
and I'll let you get a close up of the specs here in case you need to replace this thing someday. There you go. You should be able to read that quite clearly. So it looks like it's doing 12 volts at 2 amps. You will need to use this thing to provide power to your unit. A lot of times I replace it, or I uh, can't remember which one went to which. Uh, I need to get a labeler so I can label and say, hey, this is the Zool Byte 3. <laughs> I do not have a labeler. I need to get one. But that would help out a ton because I ended up referring back to my video and hoping that I, you know, showed what kind of power it took. If we can go ahead and take these screws off real quick, let's let's take a look in here. Okay, so while taking these two screws, I've noticed that something went down in there. So let's take a look at this. Aha! Little mounting thing for the hard drive. So you can go ahead and connect a hard drive up in there. So there's the little connector. So you can use a laptop hard drive and expand that storage significantly. So <laughs> definitely... Go ahead and throw a hard drive in there. It's very simple in there. <laughs> a little BIOS battery. I definitely plan on taking a spare laptop hard drive I got laying around and throwing it in there and, you know, adding a terabyte quite easily of extra storage for this little guy. So you could truly use this as a little home media center. Like Cody for Windows. If taking it apart and showing you the insights helped you, you know, decide whether this was something you were going to purchase or not, please go ahead and let me know in the description below if that helped your decision a little more. So let's go ahead and grab my Note 8 and hook this up to my TV and just do a quick little startup of it. All right, we are using my Note 8 to record this. So as you can see, this is the 4 gig model. There is one you can configure with 8 gigabytes of RAM. So that's pretty awesome. It does feature Windows 10 Pro. And as you can see, we have 32 gigs of internal storage. This does support an M2 SSD, so super fast speeds. And you can go ahead and take that SD card slot and throw you a 256 gig, 128 gig SD card in there and have that as permanent storage. Or you can use that M2 SSD, or you could use a 2.5, you know, SSD or HDD, whichever your choice is. And with that USB Type-C connection on the back, you can go ahead and get you a Type-C drive that transfers super duper fast and has a lot of storage. In fact, my digital SSD has one that I'm going to have to go ahead and check out. Plugs into Type-C and gets stupid fast transfer speeds. One quick little thing I want to note before I end the video, this does have 4K capabilities at 60 frames per second. The Intel HD Graphics 500 chipset. With the remote that's included, we can go ahead and use it to navigate the menus. You will have to point it at the, it is an IR remote, so you will have to point it at the computer to go ahead and go through here. But if you click on the middle button, like go to videos, for example, and click on the middle button, it's going to go ahead and load up our videos, which we don't currently have any. There is a plus and minus button, so you can go ahead and turn the volume up and down directly from the remote, which is pretty awesome. And there we have it. We have a little byte 3, we have a hard drive inside it, and now we have 500 gigabytes of storage that we can use. Obviously that could be 2 terabytes or a terabyte, but you know, that's up to you. And then you've got all your ports for expansion, such as adding, you know, an SD card, and then a whole bunch of USB 3.0 drives, and just expanding the storage a crap ton. If you like videos like this, Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more stuff like this. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not doing so already. Again, check out Lon Seidman. I will have a link to purchase this, my social media accounts, and the other channel I mentioned in the description below. Click the little button that says show more to expand it and see everything that's down there. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out.